just came from Moab. We're on our way to Canyonlands National Park. We drove on a little bit of trails and now we're just airing down because Big Mama is riding real rough on these trails. Her rear tires are at like 80 PSI, so it's been a little crazy. So we'll just see if campground hopefully is not as windy and get some cool shots. What tire pressure do you like to go on these kinds of roads? Anywhere in the 20s, really. Once it starts getting in the washboards, into rocky sections, it's like low 20s, and then when you start rock crawling in the sand, you get into the teens. Kind of my, my go-tos. From there, it depends on how much weight you have in the vehicle. Get a layer of this dust off the the cabin air filter, so you know the air will actually blow through. Because right now on max max air, it's like blowing like it's on low. Because these are so clogged, so we'll we'll replace them once we're done with the desert. But uh, for now, we'll just tap them out and get another few days out of them before we replace them. How long did these last? Uh, I think we had them about a month. <laughs> Most people like, For, yeah. I mean, yeah, you change these out like once a year, basically. Once a year, an average only lasts you one month. Yeah. Damn. Well, I mean, you know, most people don't live in the desert for winter time either. No, or I should say, on the dirt roads in the desert. It's very windy outside, and this is part of the reason why I'm building out Big Mama the way she is, is because. It's kind of annoying to just be sitting out in this wind just slapping you around and stuff. It's died down just a little bit, but it picks up. But with Big Mama, we would be able to just all go inside of her, hang out, chill out, and just be comfortable outside of the wind, which is kind of, it's, it's annoying. I mean, since we're tired, it's just like we just don't really want to do anything. So keep pushing, pushing me forward for motivation to build out Big Mama and finish her and all that stuff. And we're eating pizza now. My front end alignment is uh, is off enough that uh, my anti what is it my traction control and my slip light is on because it sees that my wheel's at 15 degrees or more and I'm driving straight like this instead of having the wheel straight like this. So I'm, I have to adjust the uh, the toe on this one. Looks like it got knocked out on uh, seven mile rim. Seven mile rim. It got knocked out on seven mile rim. <laughs> All right, you ready? Come help me. Come here. Come here. Come here. You gonna help? Oh, you gonna help get this guy out? All right. So yeah, we gotta listen that. Too big for everything, but mm, I mean, but I have to change you, my. You I'd have, have like you could have like a month's worth of food. In I'd there. have to change my arrangement, just like you do. I sleep in the back, you know. I could probably make it so everything was on that side, right? And still have a place to sleep. Side. Yeah, exactly. It says it's 20% chance of raining, but like 
it's getting pretty nasty out there so uh, big mom is not sealed up weather sealed right now so we're gonna have to put a tarp over over her so hopefully uh, we don't get too much rain um, but we'll find out now we're about to eat we're having a macaroni and cheese camp meal cook-off alpine air with an e with uh, the forever mac and cheese next up i'm making the backpackers pantry three cheese mac and cheese and then the mountain house creamy mac and cheese and we're making these just based on how long it takes to cook we're at over 5,000 feet, so they, we need to double the time. And this one, so this one's gonna be 20 minutes. And this one's gonna be 16 plus 14. Actually, that one, that one takes longer. <laughs> I can't do math, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the mountain house and the backpacker's pantry, they, they show per serving and per container. And then the forever one, you have to calculate everything yourself. <laughs> no, yeah. no, it means you have to share it with another person. You have to. You have to. Otherwise, the math is impossible. But they do write it in the front. 34 grams of protein, 800 calories. Just add water, but they don't say boiling water. Oh, that's <laughs> tricky. That's tricky. They should say boiling water, shouldn't they? I'm drinking, so I think I'm going to sleep fine. <laughs> what are you drinking? Jim Beam Green Apple plus, what is it, Mon Manzanita Soul. So it's like an apple liqueur and an apple drink. Please don't be bad. Oh, it's, oh, it doesn't look bad. It smells pretty good. Uh, I mean, the, the vegetables still are kind of interesting for me. Oh, it looks really good, actually. It's not bad, actually. I kind of like it. But it has, like, vegetables and stuff in it, right? Yeah. So the the corn stands out because it's sweet. The carrot, it's just a different texture. All three vegetables to pea. me are crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> With the vegetables in it, it seems like it's more... I wouldn't call this macaroni and cheese. I wouldn't either. No. What do you think? No, it's not macaroni and cheese, so it's just pasta. Yep. Pasta. I'd call it like a pasta, not a macaroni and cheese, because this is not macaroni and cheese and vegetables. <laughs> All right, out of five stars. For macaroni and cheese, it's a zero because it's not macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah. Enoch, out of five stars. Um, I give it like a two. I, I, I say two. I'd give it. I'd give it like a two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Sorry, bad. you're not macaroni and cheese, but you're good pasta, right? You're decent pasta. Decent camera pasta. on camera. That's all you get. <laughs> I'll fit it once. I can't believe it. Okay. It, it does not taste you. like mac and cheese. To okay, me. so there you go. You're, yep. you're, you're. He agrees with you. I mean, I think. Yeah. No, it's not done yet. What do you mean? So Alpine Air is not mac and cheese. It's just. It's good. It's yeah. It's good. It's, it's, pasta. it's pasta with vegetables. That's yeah. that's. It's, it's like a cheesy a, pasta. Cheese cheesy cheese. pasta yeah, with vegetables. Like a that's wow. hint of a cheese sauce. All right, you gotta mix the backpackers' too. pantry now. Ooh. Ooh, that looks like craft too. Oh, I see pepper. Is that pepper? Uh, looks like it, like spices. Mix it. Yeah. It's a lot in here. That's good, because we're going to eat it all. Based off of the little taste test I did with uh, from mixing, this one seems promising. Oh, because there's there's pepper. He's a pepper it whore. Like, it looks like more like a... It's thick. Like a restaurant style. Oh, it smells very good. Yeah, it's actually like cheese. Leave the poor thing alone. There's three cheeses in it. It's a three cheese mac and cheese. So and here we go. Don't sit at once. Pull it once. Oh yeah, the pepper. I mean, <laughs> that, but and the the all around flavor is better. You can actually taste the different types of cheese. She's such a tired girl. Yeah, she didn't want to get out of the tent, but she needed to get up and eat dinner and drink water. Yeah. That looks creamy. Yeah, really Check creamy. it out. I, that honestly, looks I, very I feel creamy. like there's just looking at it, there's not enough noodles. Oh, too much cheese. That's That's yeah. Cheese. Okay. Yeah. It tastes like cafeteria. It does, yeah. It definitely does taste like cafeteria mac and cheese. Yeah, 100%. It we, smells like cafeteria. <laughs> oh, dude, it's straight cafeteria. Oh, yeah, that's. Consistent. Looks like macaroni. Is when I opened it, they were just still too hard. 
Yeah, uh, I don't yeah. think they're gonna. It is what no. it is. So yeah. You open it too soon. It. The noodles are kind of thick too. So yeah, that's, they were yeah. big elbows. Yeah, yeah, that's. I think I think flavor wise, the backpacker pantry wins for mac and cheese, but I like the Alpine Air. Even not, not even though it's not mac and cheese, yeah. <laughs> None of these make the five criteria. No, no, no uh, definitely Braxton not. Braxton gave the uh, backpackers yeah. a five. Wait, what? Yeah, he gave well, the backpackers. Yeah, I give it a five. five honestly, what did Ella think? I mean, where's Ella? I mean, it is good. But I, 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 it, how, how and we you, are gauging on backpacking meals, not restaurants. But uh, so you're <laughs> saying I can I can eat this for like an actual meal, you know? If some if I were to eat this and try to make if I wanted macaroni and cheese at home. Oh, that's true. Like, I that's acceptable to me for a macaroni and cheese, like, if somebody made it kind of a thing. I mean, okay, so that, the Backpacker's Pantry, to me, tastes like craft when I make it, because I add a lot of pepper to it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your light? Everyone's got lighting. Everyone's got lighting. I love it. It's so dark I love in it. here. So, if you took these noodles... Oh yeah! And put them in here. Yeah. Mix. That would be perfect. Okay. Like, good. The We're silly noodles. Yeah. The yeah. Noodles. The, the okay. noodles that are in there, they're it, they're too thin. They're they're a they're little too they're, mushy. Yeah, they're mushy. Yeah. You know, and we did the them. we did the exact time that it said. I'm gonna so, be up there and the food's gonna disappear. Yeah. Out of all the Alpine Air backpacking meals that we've had, though this is probably their best one. Yeah. But it's not mac and cheese. Yes, it's not mac and cheese. <laughs> so. Does it say mac it. and cheese on the envelope? Yeah, it says forever young mac and cheese. <laughs> what about you, Don? <laughs> this is great now. No light. I like that. What's the mountain house, Don? Um, three. A three. For, okay. First of all, the noodles didn't cook long enough, so that ruined it. But yeah. it's pretty soupy. It's, just, it's got the best flavor as far as seasoning. Really? Well, you, you like can salt. taste the salt in it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. You can't taste right. any salt in these things. Uh, yeah. Mm. I'm gonna buy them. They're they're backpack they're backpacking food. That's what they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They'll fill you up after the day's hike. But well, that's why we're the bear, taste, the bear would love to eat them. That's why we're taste testing them. To Which one's gonna fill you up and put and, a smile on yeah, your face? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. This one right here. Backpackers pantry. So how what how out of five stars? Three point two four nine. Hmm. Yeah. Um, but then unanimously, I think we all agree this 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 is good, but it's not magic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I left my keys in the tent. Now I gotta open the tent again. So we have decided to just go and explore for a couple of hours. We're not going to really any specific destination, but we're gonna go actually see what those switchbacks were to where we couldn't have take, taken Big Mama to see if we could in the future. So yeah, we're just gonna spend a couple hours exploring around. It's a beaut. Schaefer, you totally could. Whatever, it's fine. What? If you come down to this side of Canyonlands National Park, you need to have high clearance and 4x4 to be safe for any environment you might encounter. Because if it rains out here, it gets gnarly really quick. If it's nice and dry though, I'm pretty confident that a high clearance 2x2 two two wheel drive can make it down here. What you're saying is Big Mama should be able to make it down these switchbacks. I, I, I. Yes. yes. I 100% believe that Big Mama can make it down these switchbacks. Uh, the only thing that I would say is that you don't have a low range. So your brake pads might get really, really hot by the time we get to the bottom.
So we've just made it down all of those switchbacks and everything and I think Big Mama would have been able to make all of the switchbacks. The problem would have been just getting there. It was not very technical but I would have had to have gone very slow because nothing's strapped down in Big Mama right now. Everything's just rattling around. And then the main concern would be since it's downhill would be burning up my brakes. So at every switchback I could have pulled into it and maybe rested but you know it's just something not worth the risk. We were just trying to come down here to pass through so but we're down here um, there's no need to bring, bring big mama down here except in the future when we give her some upgrades and stuff so now we're down here about to have some lunch it sounds simple is that your lunch don yeah. no i've just opened oh, up is this, so they can this see is how the packet it. you're talking about no, you don't need no this. stove yeah. here's the how do you do it right here well, and the, and they, uh, that personally i don't think they taste very good you don't no, like them? No, good. I don't like them. I didn't make it right last time, so that's part of it. <laughs> the directions are horrible. You don't cook no it right, one knows it how to make it correctly. Okay. Uh, Did you have to put water in that? At the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just saw all the directions. Show you the video, okay? So you put, okay. Right. So then you put. Just over it. Put the whole thing in it. He can read it so he can show it. If he can put the whole thing in it. I don't know how it's going to work, though. Do you want to hold that for a second? Why is your water so hazy? Oops. It's just in there. Because it's not okay. water. You want, can I, you, well, you, I can't hold the bag of pork. And I don't, see, I don't see a fill line. So is, it, is there a fill line? No, there's no fill line. Either. What does it say on the back? Yeah, three to five ounces of any liquid three to, to five, a fill line. Three to any five liquid. Ounces. This is well, any Oh, here's liquid. a fill line down here. Line right so there. that's a good one. Okay. Okay, I got this. You got it? Are you okay. sure? Yeah. My hands seem shaky. Yeah. See how much is that? Oh, no, no, right, right about here. Oh, mm. A little bit more. How's that feel? Does that look good? Let's see. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, more. Yeah. Oh, there you this go. is for the steam. That's all I pointed yeah. at. And then uh, zip it up like this. Yeah, and then just let it sit. Yeah, the steam vent right here. How long? Three to five minutes. Okay, can't it right here. How long? Three to five minutes. Three to five? Yeah. Doesn't matter what elevation you're at. Probably not because you're not rehydrating, you're cooking. Never mind. Oh, look, just gave it. We forgot to put this in. It's a salt pepper pack. So, if we take a quick look at the map, we were camped out at about right here by Hands Flat. And we took this road down all the way past Flint Seep. And then, this is, this is all the switchbacks in here the Flint Trail, and then we're down here. So all of these switchbacks are possible. The main concern is just downhill, and then especially if it rains, it's going to be pretty dangerous. Well, well, I, mean, I mean, I can't eat a dry sandwich. Wait a minute, what do they make? Give me the sandwich for Shiva, not me. Oh, I'm Yeah, that's something. Oh, shit. We gotta go. Uh, we gotta go. So that was by far the longest that it has taken to start up Big Mama. I mean, probably about 20 different tries. We're actually on our way south. We're, Mo Leisure and I have rented out an Airbnb for five weeks out to be able to complete our build. And so we're kind of slowly making our way south. So that's kind of where we're headed right now. <laughs> 